Hey guys, and um, we've just got another quick video for you today with the Creatista Pro machine um, on how to clean the steam wand. Now, when I say clean the steam wand, I don't mean wiping it down after you've, you've used it. I mean cleaning this little tip out here. Um, it, it actually says to do it in the manual once a day. So I don't know if you do it that often. How often do you tend to clean this out in the way we're going to show you today? Let us know in the comments. Um, but we'll just show you where the little tool, they give you a tool to do it with, and that's found under the water tank. So if we just pop that water tank off, we'll see down here we've got a little cleaning tool. So we'll take that out, it's got a little pin in the end. And you use that to clean out the three little um, steam wand jets inside the steam wand. So on top, on the Creatista Pro, obviously you can do this on the Plus and the Uno, um, but it's a different screen. Uh, but it gives you two options, it says clean steam wand or rinse steam wand. So it's the top one we want, clean steam wand. Um, it then gives you, gives you some instructions. So it says, this cycle should be completed daily. You'll need 10 minutes, a clean damp cloth and a milk jug. So we'll press through to the next button or the next screen, sorry. It says, remove the water tank, which we've just done to access the cleaning tool. Be careful, it's sharp. Unscrew and remove the tip of the steam one. So we'll do that now. Abby's gonna do that for us. This often gets filled up with a bit of gunk, doesn't it, Abby, I think? Have you noticed yeah, that? Yeah, you can get dry, you can see a little bit there, um, dry like milk. Yeah. That can just kind of build up. So you literally just stick in the little pin into each hole. This isn't, you know, it's not, it's not got a big build up. So it's pretty easy. I just like to go through it a few times just to make sure there's nothing in there. So that's how you do that. And then we've got the next stage. It just says, use the cleaning tool to unscrew the steam tip cap. So we turn it upside down and in the middle of the tool, we have a little hole. We can just use it then. To take that off. And then the next step. Now rinse the inside and outside of the steam tip and cap, ensuring that any milk residue is removed. So that's all been nicely rinsed off now, nice and clean. So we go back up to the screen and see what the next step is. Wipe the steam tip and cap with a clean cloth. We've done that. Firmly reassemble the steam tip and reattach the tip to the steam wand. I think you're supposed to use the tool. It's nice and secure. I, I don't like to over tighten things because it could be a pain to get them off afterwards. And Once you're done, replace the cleaning tool and reattach the filled water tank. So yeah, take the tank back off. We didn't really need to put it back on, did we? Um, so pop that back in there. Tank up, just clips back on. And then fill the milk jug with fresh uh, potable water. Then position the steam wand in the jug the steam wand will now rinse. So first of all, I'd just like to give this bit a bit of a, a clean as well, because it can have a bit of milk left up there. Yeah, so we don't actually need to put the tank back on until this point, when you put the tool back in, then put the tank back on, and because it doesn't spray any water until this point now where it's going to rinse the steam wand. So we've added some water into the jug, put it under the steam wand, and we've also taken the opportunity just to put some extra water in the tank as well to make sure we don't run out. Um, and it did seem to say that on the instructions, didn't it? So we've now done this bit, so we'll click start and it says it's going to rinse it. As, as, it, yeah, as you can see, you have the option to pause as well if you want to at any point. So that's now finished. Whether we needed so much water in there, I'm not sure, but we just followed the instructions. Uh, it says remove the milk jug from the machine and discard the contents into the sink. Um, so we'll do that now. And that, I think, is the process done. If we just click through to the next one, it's just spraying a little bit of water at the bottom there. We'll wipe that away and then finished. All done. So that's the process of cleaning the steam one. As, it say, as we say, the uh, manual does say to do it daily. Let us know how often you tend to do it in the comments. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, like the video if it's helped you. Um, and bye for now.